Welcome back everyone. Hope you are all having a great week. So I know how frustrating it can be trying to land your first gig working with a nightclub, festival, and or artist. But I promise you that by the end of this video, you'll know exactly what you need and have the perfect email template to get you your first gig. Starting off with your camera, you're going to need to have a basic understanding of your camera in its manual mode. Shooting in auto means your camera is going to compensate for the dark situation, bump the ISO really high, and this will result in super grainy footage. And once you got manual mode down, or you already do, you're going to have to know your camera inside out. This is because most of the time you're going to be working in very dark conditions, and you're not going to have a lot of time to change your settings depending on where you are. It's going to be hard in these situations to look down at your camera buttons and figure out which one does which unfortunately oh and having a nice camera with low aperture lenses anything below f4 definitely helps keep in mind though i started in 2019 with a canon 80d and a nifty 50 50 millimeter prime and this is the result that i got so you can definitely pull it off if you don't have the perfect gear just yet if you're a beginner i completely understand there's a very steep learning curve with this kind of photography and videography however this next step goes beyond your camera as a beginner or a professional you're going to need a place to show your work, a portfolio. This is industry standard across the board and people are going to ask for it. And I know exactly what you're thinking right now. How can I build a portfolio if I can't bring my fancy camera into concerts, nightclubs, and or festivals? And that's a great question with an answer that a lot of people don't like to hear, but nine times out of 10, you're gonna have to do free work. That's personally how I got started and plenty of my friends did the exact same thing. So you won't be alone. If you're starting out, your target should be smaller local bars and venues, specifically reaching out to opening acts, resident DJs, local performing artists, and any of your friends that are in the music industry. Try and find places that would benefit from you giving them social media promotional content. Make it a no brainer that they let you in with your camera. Since you're doing this for free, try to take as much advantage of the opportunity as possible. Make connections with the people working at the bars. Maybe take a couple extra photos of the DJ, grab his email and send those photos to him later. Try to meet as many people as possible because this of course could be a bridge to another project down the road. All right, it's been some time now. You've got some projects under your belt and you're super proud of the work that you've come up with. You're ready to share this body of work with bigger venues, bigger artists, their managers, concerts, or festivals. Here are some of my favorite free and paid ways to share work with clients. All right, starting off with a film reel. This is free and a quick way to showcase all of your best shots in a one to two minute video that you upload to YouTube and or Vimeo and then share the link with potential clients. Next up, we got the free clickable PDF. This is a new way to showcase your work in a little bit of a fancier way. You can see it on the screen now and the benefit is that it's going to keep your clients inside of their email. It's fancy, it shows that you're invested, it makes a great first impression and it doesn't make the client scour all over your website and opening this and opening that to find your work. The great thing is that this clickable PDF fits right as an attachment so the client shouldn't have to leave their email to go and check out your work. If anything it opens a new tab but just keep in mind that these people's emails are usually flawed. So keeping it simple is going to be crucial to your success with landing your first gig. Another free method, simple enough, is just link to your video. You can do this through YouTube and or Vimeo. If you decide to do it through YouTube, make sure that the video is unlisted and not private. Unlisted means that you'll be able to share the link with anybody and only they will be able to view it. And lastly, we got a paid option, which is your own personal website. I use Squarespace to set up my online portfolio and it couldn't have been easier. This is a great way to show your work on a project by project basis. You can get a lot more in depth with your projects by adding a description, adding some photos in there. There's also a free version if you're signed up with Adobe, the My Portfolio website. I personally thought Squarespace was a lot easier. They also give you the opportunity to create your own email without having to use the at Gmail feature. However, I didn't really create a professional paid website up until about a year and a half ago. So it's nothing you gotta rush to right away. Keep in mind, I really started taking the stuff serious around 2019. As for the method that I use most of the time, it's honestly all of these. I use them on a case by case scenario, but if I had to pick one, it would definitely be my film reel. This is because it's a quick way to spark interest in your client and show what you bring to the table immediately. Then once I have them hooked, I utilize the other methods to further showcase my work. So at this point, you've got everything you need to start shooting those big shows. Let's say you found an event near you and your next step is to reach out to the following people, the tour manager, a 
assistants, featured artists on the tour, band members, personal photographers and videographers, DJs, and anybody that's a friend of the crew and tagging along on the tour. Keep in mind that these are just ideas in case you can't find the manager's information. I don't suggest at all reaching out to every single one of these people because this is probably going to lessen your odds by a lot. With the manager being your main priority, your best way to find his information is on every single social media platform. You got to dig. Legit look everywhere. Start off with Googling the artist, band, or DJ. Look on their Facebook, Instagram, SoundCloud, LinkedIn. Try to find an email to reach out to. Your best bet is finding their name. Look them up on Instagram and or Facebook in hopes of trying to find an email somewhere. And now what we're going to get to is what you should say in this Instagram DM and or email because that's super important and you want to keep it short and concise. But before we do that, I wanted to mention that if you have familiarity with anybody in the tour crew, Crew, this is going to help out a lot and definitely mention that. It makes a massive difference if you know and or have worked with somebody that's already on that tour. Anyway, here are the two most successful templates that I found to reach out through email and Instagram. While you're reading this on the screen, note that every single question they could possibly ask is answered as they're reading it. I'm a photographer and videographer and do everything from show recaps to lifestyle content and portraits. I would love to shoot this show at this date at this venue and will deliver an album of 30 photos four hours after the show and a recap two hours later. Going off what I just mentioned, you state exactly what you want, what you do, when you want to do it and what they are going to get out of it. All things that they're thinking right as they're reading this. A lot of people do this, but what makes you different? In my example, I'm going to break down this video into social clips that they can post right away. All right, this sounds good, but who did you work with? That's answered right here. This is an example of a recap I shot for this person, this person, this person. And then you obviously show thanks, especially if this is your first time. I obviously would love this opportunity. Working with someone at this caliber would be a game changer for me. I'm here for anything you guys need. Here's my Instagram and email would love to get in touch with you. That's the email format. And if you thought their emails were flooded, imagine their Instagram DMs, which is why you want to keep this even shorter. Don't want to blow you up with a big message. I'm a photographer, videographer looking to shoot X show would be great to send out a proper email and discuss some ideas I had. Those are the two templates I found most successful and obviously mix them up and change them around so that they fit your goal. But you also may have noticed I didn't mention anything about what I charge. I usually don't do this until the second email when they show their interest because pricing is always complicated but the way I do it is I want them to be interested first until I tell them the price of my work which just changes things around and it's complicated but it works for me and that's the way I do it and if you don't get a reply in the next couple days make sure to follow up these people are crazy busy and you want to try and stay in their headspace and it could be totally possible that they were interested and forgot to reply to your email and or they just completely missed it the first time outreach is how I found a lot of my success but there's also plenty of opportunities like this. And there's also plenty of opportunities to work on local media teams and apply yourself on the website like you can see on the screen right now. As for the fifth step, make sure that you practice your turnaround times because this is something that caught me completely off guard. With this style of photos and videos, turnaround times are crazy fast. I'm talking turn in your photos the next day. If you're doing video, you probably spared yourself another day or two, but it's not a lot of time. So even if you're just starting off, it's super important to keep this in mind and practice it to get your turnaround times crazy fast. I have plenty of videos on optimizing your workflow, especially for Premiere Pro that I'll link right here. Yeah, right here. Hitting your deadlines every single time is what separates the good from the great without doubt. And if you've mastered every single step prior to this, you've got everything you need. So just remember the more arrows you shoot, the more likely you're finally to hit right in the center of the target and land that gig. Now you can look for your favorite artists that are coming to your city and or festival lineups, get in contact with their management team and start building these great relationships. And this was super important for me too, but just remember that if you never reach out, then how in the world are they supposed to know about you? There's a lot of photographers and videographers out there and sending that email can really just make the difference. That being said, concert photography and videography can take you to some incredible places and meet some awesome people. 
people. I'm actually graduating in a month and I'll be heading to Mallorca, Spain to work for five nightclubs doing this kind of work. And I'm super excited to take you guys on the ride. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to check out this video right here where I talk about my must-have concert photography lenses. And yeah, that's that. I'll catch you guys next week. Peace.